What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an Ice Rider Calyrex team that features one of the most underused restricted mods in the game, Garatina. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Seriously, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and join the Genes community. Seriously, huge shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you guys for supporting me as a content creator. Really goes a long way. You guys are the real ones. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Garatina. Like I said, probably the most underused restricted mod in every single, in this whole game. Like, you never see Garatina, especially in this form. You see the origin form a bit more than this form, so... Gonna be fun to use this guy and try to get some wins with it. We got the pressure as its ability. Then we're rocking weakness policy as its item. You guys know any Pokemon that rocks weakness policy, once that thing's proc, it's gonna be able to hit like a truck. We got Draco Meteor for stab, Shadow Ball for stab, then we got Thunder for coverage alongside Protect for our fourth and final move. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Mimikyu over here. And this Mimikyu set is really, really strong. We got this, guys. We got that Mental Herb. And then we got Play Rough, Shadow Sneak, both for stab, Willow Wist to burn physical attackers, and then Trick Room to set up that Trick Room. Middle left is going to be our second restricted mod, that Ice Rider Calyx. This Pokemon is top tier in Trick Room. Probably the best Trick Room Pokemon in the game. We got the As One ability, alongside with the Lumberry as item. Then we're rocking Glacial Lance, High Horsepower, Trick Room, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Incineroar over here. Incineroar has a pretty normal moveset, but this time it's used to pair it up with the Garatina. It has the Brutal Swing to actually proc the policy, and we can get one from there. We got Intimidate, obviously, as its ability. Rock and Citrus Parry as item. Flare Blitz, like I already mentioned, Brutal Swing, and then Parting Shot and Fake Out for our final two moves. Bottom left-hand corner is this lovely Rillaboom. Cannot go wrong with Rillaboom on any team. Seriously, it's just one of those Pokemon that is just good in all situations. We got Grassy Surge, Miracle Seed as its item, and then we're rocking Grassy Glide, High Horsepower, Fake Out, and Protect. Final Pokemon on the squad is one of my favorite support mods in any Pokemon game. We got Togekiss over here, Super Luck and Babiri Berry as its item and ability, rocking with Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, do I even have to say it? The rental code is right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this weakness policy, Garatina team. Hopping into battle number one, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a brand new season. I did not play on May 1st, so we're getting started here on May 2nd for the brand new season. Hopefully, we get ourselves started off with a win here in battle number one. We're going up against like, the Alga and Zassian team that also features Grimstar, Latias, then he also has the Zapdos alongside with the Suicune. Okay, how am I going into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Mimikyu is a solid call here. Mimikyu, alongside with Garatina, could come out here. Let me see Garatina speed, because I know it's not too bad. It's 113. Could thrive in Trick Room, but I think we go Trick Room into Garatina, and we kind of roll off from there, because this team's rather fast, right? This team's definitely rather fast. So we can pop Trick Room. We can get rolling with that. Go into uh, Calyrex, and then bump, 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 bump. Final Pokemon should probably be Incineroar. You know, he has his Zacian. That's a little bit of a problem, so Incineroar could definitely come in here and do some work. So I'm really digging it. I'm really digging it. Let's get rocking. Let's get rolling here and look for a win here in battle number one. But you guys know the deal. Before we even start battle number one, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What was your favorite gaming console growing up? And if you're still a young kid, still growing up, let me know what your favorite gaming console is right now in the comment section down below. Because everybody knows when you're growing up, there's always that one console that probably wasn't even the best that always has some sentimental value. For me, it was the uh, the Wii U and the old DS. The Wii U was more when I was a bit older, but I, I really got a lot of value out of that. But the DS when I was kid, I had the original DS when it came out in like, what was it, 2007, 2006? I had the original DS and I, I love that. I loved it. I loved it. Loved it. I use it all the time. But yeah, let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But he's going to end up leading Gold Latias alongside with uh, Diago. So I'm going to pop this Trick Room and I think I'm just going to protect here. Or I could stay in here and drop like a Shadow Ball or Draco Meter, which could be really good. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to protect here. Let's see what he does. See what this dude does. He's gonna end up withdrawing Diago. We love that turn. We love this turn. We love this turn. So he's gonna take the hard swap here. That's a great, that's a great turn for us. Cause now we're guaranteed to get off a of trick room here. We protect the Garatina and we're gonna hope that the Latias is going after my Garatina. He's gonna go for a bulldoze. Okay. Go for a bulldoze. I'm trying to slow actually that's fine. You could slow down my Pokemon. You could slow down my Pokemon. That's totally fine. We're popping a trick room. But he's gonna take off my disguise, which we don't really like, but it's all good. It is all good. So disguise comes out. That's fine. Uh and what do we do from here? What do we do from here? Dynamax Garatina? I'm thinking about it. Or we can keep Garatina. Could Dynamax drop a Shadow Sneak, pop Policy, and kind of roll out from there? It could work well. It could work well. And I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards it. Because I think he's going to pop a screen. You know what? I'm just going to do that. And then I'm just going to go into a Phantasm. Take this thing out. Lower the defense. And then probably drop like a Play Rough next turn onto the uh, Grimstarnel. 
Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Like I said in the beginning, Trick Room's coming out here. It's got to get rolling. So we got to take advantage of these Trick Room turns and just roll out from there. So our disguise is going on a Mimikyu, which I don't mind. I don't really mind if Mimikyu goes down because the quicker Mimikyu goes down, the faster we can get an Ice Rider Calyrex. And I just need like two to three turns with Ice Rider Calyrex. And he can do tons of work on the Pokemon. Tons of work. It just hits so hard. He's going to end up going for an Alley Switch. And that's a solid Alley Switch. I'll give it to him all day. The solid Alley Switch there. The solid Alley Switch. We're going to pop our policy here. And we're going to get rolling. Maybe he thought I was going for a Dragon Move. Luckily, we didn't go for it. Luckily, we went for the Phantasm instead. Luckily, we did go for that Phantasm. But this isn't going to be able to take him out. He's, he's going to drop a Foul Pipe, which is fine. Do a decent amount of damage. And we're going to roll from here. From here. But Phantasm is going to poke out here. We're going to drop its defense. But still, how much damage are we really going to do? It's not bad, yo. Shadow Sneak might be able to take that thing out. Shadow Sneak might be able to take that out. It's going to be cutting it close. It's going to be cutting it real close. It's going to be cutting it real close. But what do we do from here? Uh, Who's slower? Let me, let me see the speeds of these guys. Let me see the speeds of Mimikyu. I know Mimikyu's minus one, but ooh, Mimikyu's kind of slow. I dig that. Mimikyu might be slowest on the field. So from here, uh, I said we just drop a player off here. And then we just drop a Phantasm again. Right here. Do we really think he ally switch again? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Hopefully he doesn't. Nobody doubles down with the ally switch. That'd be a bold move. That'd be a real bold move. But yeah, I would love to pick up a KO or two here. It'd be a really, really solid turn for us. Then after that, I could throw burns on whoever he has out, which might be a Zassian. Might be a Zassian. Let's see what he does here. He's going to set up a reflect. Okay, so smart play by him. He sets up the reflect. This should be an easy double kill for us. No problem whatsoever, right? Yeah, we're going to drop a nice little player off. We're going to say bye-bye to you. Drop you. And it's rough that he set up the reflect because we have a bunch of... Uh, Physical attackers in the back. Except for Garatina. Garatina's our lonesome special attacker. Phantasm pops here. We're going to say bye-bye to you. Unless he's Focus Ash. And he's not Focus Ash. So huge double kill for us. We're getting on the board. But we got to remember, he still has a Dynamax with the Alga. And uh, he probably has Ashen. But we have Incineroar in the back, which is really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really good. So let's see what he does. I'm going to go into here. That's totally fine. And I might swap. I kind of like I'm, I kind of want to swap, but I want him to take me out. I want him to take out my, what's called, my Mimikyu. So I'm going to throw a burn, and I'm going to go after this uh, Dialga by dropping attack stats. Because he cannot he cannot stay in. He cannot uh, swap out, my, I meant to say. If I burn him and drop attack stats with Wormwin, this could work well for us in the long run. So let's get after it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because Dialga is probably going to be the Dynamax Pokemon, right? I had to guess Dialga is going to be the Dynamax Pokemon. That Pokemon is scary. It is definitely scary. It has the Steel move to do work onto my, uh, my Ice Rider Calyrex. It also has the uh, the ground move to do work on my Incineroar. It just has a lot of different options. And it also is probably rocking a Dragon move to do work on my Garatina. Like, leave me alone, dude. Dialga's so good. He's so good in Trick Room, too. Really good Pokemon. But if I had to guess, he's yeah, he has to Dynamax Dialga because, you know, Zazzy can't be Dynamax. So let's see his player. Let's see his player. He might protect his Zazzy, which I hope he doesn't. Because if we get off a burn and a minus one from the Max Wormwind, that could be a huge, huge turn for us. Because we can pretty much just take out Zassian out the battle. And then come in with an Intimidate and give it another attack drop. So it's just going to work wonders. It's just going to work wonders for us. But I do I do dig that turn. I do dig that turn. But this battle is going to be super, super close. I can definitely see us losing this one. But uh, Dialga is going to come out here with the Dynamax. Go ahead, Mimikyu. Do not protect. Dope. will o comes out here and it connects. And it connects! Nothing's worse than when your burn misses. But that's a huge burn for us. We throw it right on him. I'm going to get rolling with that. He's going to go for a seal spike. Take out Mimikyu, please. Yes, he takes out Mimikyu. We love that all day. So Mimikyu's gone. He's out for the count. They are going to get a defense boost. But I am special attacking here. I am special attacking here. And more importantly, my Garatina is going to go before the Assassin. Giving it minus one. And that's going to be big. So do I bring out... I think I got to bring out... What's it called? I think I got to bring out my boy here. Oh, that's some big damage. That's some really big damage. That's some really big damage. I really, really like a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. That's huge. She's probably going for a blade, right? Behemoth play comes in here. Should be able to soak this up. Even though it's double damage, it's stab. Should be able to soak this up with the burn and the minus one. Let's see. Soak it up, Caratina. Yeah, yo. Dude, like I said, yo. Get the sassy on out of here. Doing poopy damage. Doing poopy damage. Okay, we still have at least one more turn left in Trick Room, so I'm just going to bring out you. Save my Incineroar for the back end, and we're going to roll from here. So, yo, solid, solid first battle for us. We are looking good. We're looking real fine. Real fine. He does have that defense boost on top of him. Um, what should I do from here? Do I just double down in Dialga? I feel like Dialga has to take some damage here. Zassian, I'm not too worried about, but still. Could be rough for us. Could be rough for us. Uh, how many turns left in Trick Room? One? Might be one. Yeah, it is one. Okay, so one more turn left in Trick Room. Uh, we could go for the Glacial Lance, which isn't too bad, but I think maybe like a high horsepower could be a bit better into here. He is defense boosted. 
Hmm. Could be past it as well. What do I want to do? I just want to double down on you. What do I want to do? You know, we're going to do that and we're just going to go into a. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll go into a Draco Meteor if we could. Because if we can land this, that's pretty much going to be GG's. I really wonder what he's going to do here. Protect. He protect. Yo, that's huge. He protects this ass. Dude. Like, we're going after it. Nah, yo, we're going after Diago right here. High horsepower coming in hot. Uh, he chipping up some damage. And if we can get off this. uh, Oh, it's policy. Oh, no. That could definitely do us dirty. Trick room's about to end. Go after my Calyrex. I think he's going after Calyrex. It's a steel spike. Yes, cool. He goes after uh, Calyrex. He's going to drop that. And Draco Meteor should come out here and pretty much finish off this uh, Diago, right? I don't care about the defense boost. Like, that's fine. That's fine. We have our we have our Incineroar in the back end. Wow, this battle's actually going to be really close. Because that scene still scares me, even though even if he's minus one with a burn. Draco Meteor's going to fly. Should KO this thing, right? Should tell him to go home, right? Beautiful. So we get rid of Diago there. Our stats are dropping. But they go back to normal, which is great. They go right back to normal because we had the weakest policy proc. They're going to drop back to normal. I'm with it all day. They drop back to normal. We have instant warning back end. I can fake out here. He's going to have to take a turn. Right? He cannot protect. He's going to he's gonna have to take this fake out. So that's huge having this instant warning in the back end. Wow, dude. That actually came a little bit closer than I thought. Because if he would have taken out a Garatina there, then we would have been... We, we probably would have lost. Because Diago would have been coming in hot. He would have been coming in hot. But we got this rolling. Uh, I'll just fake out. And then we can get off a free little Shadow Ball here. Chip up some damage. But I can see him canceling the battle very, very soon. Yep, there it is. Battle was canceled. Let's go. What a way to start off the brand new season. Battle number one went perfectly. Let's hop into our second battle. Look to go back to back in the brand new season. But we're going up against another Dialga team with Zapdos, Kyogre, Rillaboom, Grimmsnarl, and then Duskops for Trick Room. So it could definitely be a Trick Room kind of team. Uh, how do we want to go into this one? How do we want to play it? I feel like Rillaboom is a solid lead here. Because we can fake out. We could pop Trick Room with uh, Calyrex. Or we can have that Rillaboom out here and ready to throw a uh, a Grass Guide if he wants to lead the Kyogre. So what do we want to do here? What is our play? I'm thinking I'm thinking Calyrex Rillaboom. It just, it just seems good. It seems nice. It seems solid. Could really roll out with that. We'll bring Garatina in the back end. And then last but not least, do I go Incineroar? I mean, Incineroar is not too bad, but I think I'd rather go with a Pokemon like Mimikyu or like Togekiss. What do I want to do? What is the Gene's call here? Mimikyu is not too bad. That first turn priority can really help us out. Can really help us out. But then we got a Pokemon like Togekiss. And I like Togekiss. Togekiss is a really cool Pokemon. But I'm going to lean towards Mimikyu here. I'm definitely going to lean a bit towards more Mimikyu here. And lock it in and lock it down. But this battle is going to look a little tough. But if we get off Trick Room, like I said, we can get the item. So hopefully he leads like a, 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 a lead that we can just fake out, pop Trick Room, and roll out from there. Or if he leads that Kyogre, we pose that threat with the Grass. And again, if he leads Kyogre, I might just like not even fake it out. I might just like read a Protect or something. Right, let's see. Let's just see who he goes into. Gonna end up leading Grimmsnarl and okay, Grimmsnarl and Duskops, which I'm totally cool with. I'm totally cool with that. I might just fake out the Grimmsnarl and get off a move and, and allow him to pop trick me. Or do I pop it on my own? I might pop it on my own. I don't know. I do not know. See one please. I'm gonna have to definitely fake out the Grimmsnarl. We're definitely faking out the Grimmsnarl, and we'll probably go for like a Glacial Lance. He's gonna frisk me. See that I have a Lumberry in my Miracle Seed Rock and. And we'll just go from there. He could burn me, which I do not like. So, you know, I'm just going to go for Sklash Lance. He could burn me. Oh, dude, that's scary. That's scary. And we're just going to fake out the Grimmy. I'm with this all day. That's scaring me. Hopefully, he's popping Trick Room. I don't know what he's going to do. I really don't know what he's going to do. But I have an odd feeling that that Scops is going to burn me. Maybe I should have protected that turn. We do have a Lumberry, but he, he knows I have Lumberry. He knows I have the uh, the Lumberry due to the Frisk ability. Uh, let's just see what he does. Fake Out's going to come out here. Oh, uh, Chip up some damage, and then uh, who goes first? I do outspeed that dust cost. Beautiful. The Glacial Lance going to poke through here. Do some nice damage over onto that uh, Grimstar. Maybe take him out. I would love for that to take him out. That's huge. That's a huge KO. No screens. We're not dealing with any of that. And we're getting rolling from there. So Chilling Nade's going to get boosted. Please pop a Trick Room, dust cops. I'll love you forever if you do that. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. Thank you. So my plan just worked right there. My plan was uh, like, yo, it was, it was like... It was let me not pop a trick room and just allow him to pop a trick room and do it for me and then drop a glacial lance. So that worked perfectly. He's probably gonna bring out Dialga and Dynamax. I mean that's gonna be a little scary, right? Yeah. So Dialga comes out here with a Dynamax. Uh do I even Dynamax my uh Do I even Dynamax my Calyrex? I could. I could definitely do that. Uh we should be slower than that Dialga, right? Let me see your speed, yo. Let me see your speed. If we get the special defense boost off first, yeah, we should be slower. 
if we can get off the special defense boost first, that'd be big news for us. He could have ally switch too. Oh, that's tough. He could definitely have ally switch. Did we read that? I really want to die. I really want to Dynamax. I'm going to read now. switch. I'm reading Alice switch all day. I'm going to play games with me. We're reading Alice switch all day. We're making a hard read on the Alice switch. He's going to Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be lovely. He's going to ally switch. We're going to get off this max quake and this high horsepower right into this Dialga. I really do like it. I really do like it. But he has to ally switch. He has to. He has to. That would be lovely. But either way, we're going to be able to get off a special defense boost, and that's going to work wonders for us. It's going to work wonders for us. But yo, do it. Do that ally switch. Do that ally switch. I know you want to. I know you want to. I know he's rocking with it. I know he has it. It's just a matter of, is he going to use it? And he's got it, right? He's got to use it. We're, gonna, we're going for the read. We're going for the Dust Cops ally switch read. Please. This will be, this will be a banger of a read. Yo, just letting you guys know now, if Dust Cops Alley switches, you have to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed or if you haven't liked the video yet. Let's see it. Make it happen. Will of West. Son of a gun, dude. <laughs> he burns me. <laughs> Never mind, yo. But still, if you haven't liked and subscribed, get on top of that. That's rough news. That's real rough. That's real rough. So we're going into Quake here. Can we take this thing out with this? That could be a big takeout. This could be a big KO here. We do not. That's so rough. Yo, he's going to ally switch, yo. I know he's rocking with it. We know he's rocking with it. It's so rough. That is rough. And Robo Man actually outspeeds the uh, the Dialga. Grassy God should be able to take that out next turn. Steel Spike's gonna fly through it. That's looking a little scary. Should be able to soak this up though. Yeah, cool. So we soak that up. Uh, do we read the Alice switch now? This sucks. This sucks, dude. <laughs> this sucks because I want to read the Alice switch. I want to read the Alice switch so bad. I know he's gonna use it this turn, but I'm not gonna read it. Ugh, I hate this game. Luckily, we did have a Lumberry. He's scared. He's scared to waste a turn with us. He's scared to waste a turn uh, onto us with the with the Willow Wisp. I'm just gonna Grace Scott here. Is he gonna ally switch? He does not. Cool. cool. So Grace Scott comes out here and it doesn't pick up the KO. That's rough and pain. Oh no. Stupid dust cops. Well, luckily we went after Diago here. Luckily we did go after Diago. He probably policied here. So this could be a tough turn for us. We're gonna deal some damage onto him. But I think we're gonna proc policy. We are plus two on special defense, so it's really, really good. But he is plus one on defense. But right, he's gotta be policy, right? That's gotta be a policy. It's not. Okay, that's lovely. He's gonna go for another steel spike. I'm with it all day. There's steel spike in the enemy. We're able to soak that up yet again. And then we can go for another one if we want to. Solid battle. Solid, solid battle. A solid battle in the Pokemon Stadium. And I kinda wanna. Oh, dude. That's tough. I kind of want to swap my real wing back because we know he has, he has Kyogre in the back, but we're burned. We are burned. Do I want to swap? What are we really going to do with him? Who do we have in the back end? We have Garatina alongside with, uh, who was the next Pokemon? Was it Incineroar? Did we bring Incineroar? No, it was Mim Mims. I do like Mim Mims. Mim Mims with the disguise, really, really good. So from here, I'm just going to drop another Max Week. We're going to bulk up. And you know, I might just swap here. Let's swap it to Garatina, but it's just, eh, it's tough. You swap the gear? Garatina here? Solid. Garatina could be solid. Gotta be going for the steel spike again. So yeah, I'm gonna save my Robin for the back end. He could still do some work with the fake out and the uh and the grassy guide. So we'll swap our Robin here. We'll get Garatina out on the field for a little bit. And we'll get playing with from there. There's no way he drops a wormwind into into that slot we were just in. Let's see what he does. Will Wisp comes out here. That's fine. You can use our Lumberry. You can use my Lumberry. You can use my Lumberry, but yo, this Dust Cop's kind of a pain, dude. It's just doing work. Quake's gonna fly here. We're gonna thrive with that. It'll probably Willow Wisp me next turn, so I might have to protect. Let's see. But solid damage there. Solid damage all around. He's just been boosting his defense, kind of going from there. I've been boosting my special defense. Hopefully, he's going after Calyrex here. I really hope so. Because I don't think he was too worried about the Robin being burned and all that. He wasn't really doing too much. And he's gonna drop another Steel Spike and roll off from there. Okay. Oh, wow. He goes into Caratina slot. Wow. Hey, leave me alone. What the heck's that about? It's a crit. Dude, what is this? Really went into my roll boom slot with a with a steel spike? It's a little disrespectful. A little disrespectful. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Real disrespectful. It's real disrespectful. Okay. Let's see how, how this one plays. So he's gonna go into that. Bibbity bobbity boobity bobbity. Um could Alex switch here, but it's just like I might double protect and waste out this trick ring. I might double protect here. So how many tears left in trick room? I think it's one or it might be two. It might be two, but I'm thinking it's one. I'm thinking it's one. We just did all of our Dynamax turns. It's a solid battle going on here. Solid, solid battle. I'm going to check it. 
Because here, Trick Room, one turn. So again, a double? Double Protect ain't too bad here. Because we know... Actually, I could keep... He, he, we know he's going to burn me, right? We know he, he wants to burn me. So, you know, I'm going to do that. Who's slower? I think what's called is slower. Wow, who is slower here? I'm just going to protect. I think that... uh, I think what's called is a bit slower. I think Garatina's a bit slower. Or, or a bit... Or Dialga's a bit slower. I think Dialga's a bit slower. I think Dialga or Garatina can outspeed this Dialga after Trick Room. So I'm going to go from there. He's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. We're going to block that. And what is Dialga going after? He's probably going after Garatina with a Flash Cannon. Yeah. So good double protect there. Trick Room's gone. Now our Calyrex outspeeds that uh, Dusk Ops. And Garatina should outspeed the Alga, right? It seems pretty good. It seems pretty good. And in this case, I really just want to drop like a Shadow Ball. What do I want to do here? This is tough. We think a high horsepower can KO that, uh... KO this Dialga. This is a tough turn. This is a real tough turn. But I really want to go into this and then just Shadow Ball here. That's really what I want to do. Is Garatina fast on the field? Please show me that he's faster than Dialga and we get off the turn with him. That could be lovely. This is such a good battle. <laughs> this is such a good battle. Long drawn out Trick Room battle. We know he has Kyogre in the back end, which is a little scary, but still. I think we should be fine here. Yeah. My calculations were correct. We are faster than Dialga. We're going to drop a Shadow Ball. Chip up some damage onto this thing. And we're going to get rolling from here. So what's he going for here? Flash Cannon. That going into Garatina. He's going into you. You're dead. Okay. So he dies. And what is this uh, Dust Cops going for? It's a crit. I don't mind that. As long as my uh, Garatina can stay alive here, this could be a good turn for us. What's he going for? Will O Wisp again? He's popping a Trick Room. Okay. So he wants a Trick Room back out. Wow. That's tough. He wants a Trick Room back out. This sucks. This sucks, dude. <laughs> this is awful. Um. He's gonna pain split me, dude. I gotta go into you. I gotta go into you for a fake out, right? Fake out Shadow Ball. This is awful. This is god awful. This is such a tough turn. He popped the Trick Room there. He set the Trick Room yet again. Oh my god, this is ugly. This is real ugly. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get this done. Let's get this done with. We're gonna go here. We're gonna fake out you. And then we're just gonna Shadow Ball. Wow, dude. And he has, he has a Kyogre in the back with, in a Trick Room. Right? It's got to be Kyogre, right? It's got to be Kyogre. Such a good battle, dude. I love the long drawn out battles. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy the long drawn out battles. But I'm surprised this thing has an ally switch. But it's probably not rocking it because it definitely would have done it by now, right? We tried calling that out like a like a couple turns ago. And I really did think, I really did think at that moment, he was going to drop an ally switch there. Big guy's going to come out here. Yeah. Ship up some damage, but more importantly, get the flinch on him. And Nightshade's going to come through here. Should be able to eat up that Nightshade, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, we eat up the Nightshade Shadow Ball. I'm thinking Shadow Ball should be able to pick up the KO, which could be lovely. We can go from there. It does. Cool. Dope. Awesome. So we take out him. He could bring out uh, Kyogre. It's got to be Kyogre, right? And this is huge for us because now we're posing a threat with a Robo And Robo can still do a decent amount of damage onto a Kyogre, even if it's burned with the Grass Guide. And maybe we could just hope for a crit, you know? You never know. We can. We could definitely get a crit. We could definitely get a crit. We are burned. And burn's just like, uh. Uh. We, do, we don't like the burn. We do not like the burn. See how this one plays. Let's see how this one plays. There it is. There's the Kyogre. There's the Kyogre. We saw this come from a mile away. I might protect my Robo this turn. Right? He might go after the Robo. Definitely be an option. But you know, we're just gonna stick here, go there, and then uh Good Thunder. I could Thunder, but you know, I'm just gonna Draco Meteor here. I gotta get rid of him, right? I gotta get rid of this thing. He's plus three on defense. I have to get rid of him. Grass guy's gonna fly here. Now I'll eat, send it this way. And look at that. Solid damage. Half damage. We love that. We'd love that. Water spouts can come out here. Can you eat that up, Dial or Garatina? I love you. I love you. I love you. Who's he gonna go after here? It really comes down to who Dialga goes after. Flash hand, go after Rolling. Go after Rolling. Yes. Yes. That's huge. That is huge. We love it. We love it. He goes after Roboom. This Draco Meteor should be able to come out here, finish off the Dialga, and then I can start rolling into my what's it called? My Mimikyu. Who's 100 percent slower than that? Uh who's oh what he eats? Okay, I can shadow sneak that. Dude, Shadow Sneak might not pick up the KO. What? Yo, Diago really didn't pick, or Garatina really didn't pick up the KO there. I don't think Shadow Sneak can. I don't think Shadow Sneak can get the job done. I don't think it can. I do not think Shadow Sneak can do it. But we, we're probably slower than that. We are probably slower than that. But can a uh, a player off take that out? We gotta go for the player off. 
Oh my lord, that really just happened. And we'll go for the thunder across onto this thing. No way that just happened. Origin Pulse can come through here. That, that Kyra goes slow. That thing's made for tricking. Wow. He's made for tricking. So he's going to take off my disguise here. And Garatina survives. It's huge. Garatina survives. Yo. Mimikyu should go next. And Mimikyu, I think, can take out this Diablo, right? Mimikyu, do him dirty. Do him dirty, Mims. Yes, yo. Huge time KO. Let's go. Let's go. Big time KO. Garatina's can come out here with a thunder that hits 100% of the time. And then we can just shadow sneak into this. This should be... I think this should kill him, right? That should be GG's. Let's go. Let's go. Your boy clutching it up. The bulky Garatina soaking up shots. Staying in the battle. Rolling out from there. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. We go 2-0. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record. Let's get this brand new season started off with a perfect record. We're hopping into our third and final battle, and I can't believe we won that last battle. That was such a good battle. Hopefully, you guys didn't enjoy watching it, but let's, it's, it's time for the perfect record, like I said. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex and Zacian team that also features Zapdos, Whimsicott, Lando, and Incineroar. So two Intimidate Pokemon. Garatina is an absolute must. Garatina is an absolute must. Intimidate will not really affect them. I'm going to go in here. Here, I definitely want, uh, definitely want my boy... Incineroar, and I guess we'll bring him, even though he has two Intimidate Pokemon. We're popping a Trick Room. We're trying to get that rolling, so we need Ice Rider Calyx in the back end. I'm with it. Let's run it. Let's go. Let's get after it. But I wonder who he's going to lead. He could lead a Fake Out Mon with the Incineroar. He might lead Whimsy. Whimsicott might have Taunt, but we do have the Mental Herb on that uh, lovely Mimi. That's good. Could lead Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider Calyx kind of scaring me. I think he's going to lead maybe his double restricted Shadow Rider alongside with Zacian. And then we could be in some trouble. Because then he can go into Behemoth Blade alongside with Astro Raj. Kind of roll off from there. That would be tough. That would be probably the worst scenario for us. Is this guy to lead both his restricted mods. And I don't think he has the moxie to do it. I don't think he, I don't think he has the moxie to do it. Let's see what he's going to do here. He's going to end up leading. Okay, Shadow Rider, Calyx, and Whimsy. Uh, that's cool. Definitely protect this turn and uh, go from there. Protect. We gotta protect. We gotta protect. Protect Pop Trick Room. 100% or play. 1000% or play. It's gotta be it. It's gotta be it. And we gotta hope that this Whimscott's not doubling down into my uh, disguise Mimikyu. But if that's the case, what's called goes first? Astro Brush will come out here first. So let's just pop this Trick Room. This lovely little Trick Room. Lovely, lovely, lovely little Trick Room. But yeah, dude, we've been playing good with this Garatina team. I actually did not think it was going to be, like, this strong. It's really strong once you get the Trick Room popping. Once you get the Trick Room out and about, you can really do a lot of work. So we're going to protect here. He's going to go for a switcheroo. That's fine. What are you going to take? My Mental Herb? You're going to take my Mental Herb. What are you going to give me, though? An Eject Ball. Oh, <gasps> You son of a biscuit. How dare you? Ruin everything. Does that count as damage? Wait, does that count as damage? Does that not count as damage? We might we might still be in the battle. No! <laughs> God dang it. I was going to say, does that count as damage? Maybe it doesn't. And uh, we, we roll out from there. That's rough, though. That's real rough. We do not like that one bit. Um, what do I do from here? Do I go into you and try to pop a trick room with you? I could. I could. I could indeed do that. This sucks, dude. <laughs> this is awful. This is just terrible. This is just terrible. Switch a rude me, man. Switch a rude me. Um, I could protect. Or I could Dynamax. I'm leaning towards Dynamax. Like I think it do some big damage though. No, we're Dynamax. We're, we, we, we're getting after this. We're doing it this way. We're popping the Trick Room. We getting after it. Let's run it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got it. We have to. Like it's like our. We have to. Wow, dude, what a play by our opponent. I'll give it to him all day. That switcheroo was money. That was a money play right there. It was a money play if Jeans has ever seen a money play before. I was wondering, I was sitting there, I was just like, oh, he has switcheroo. That's, that's looking scary. That's looking real scary. He popped it. I was just like, oh, dude. But I was hoping. That would have been so clutch if uh, the eject button didn't proc because the disguise went through. And it, and it, and it, took, and it takes it as, like, it didn't hit me. That would have been cool. But I, I never saw that before, so that was first. He's going to end up going for fake tears. Oh, dude, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm definitely dead with that. Astro Barrage coming through here. Ouch. Ouch. He does pop policy here, which is good for us. Now I can bring back out Mimikyu. Peace Focus Ash. We'll just bring back out Mimikyu. We'll go for Shadow Sneak and we'll roll from there. We shall roll from there. But still, this is solid turn for us. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. 
But this one, this one's definitely looking tough. He's making some great, great, great plays here. Great plays. Phantasm comes out here, built, and brings us down to focus ash. So Mimikyu is definitely gonna have to be the Pokemon that we bring out. We'll save Incineroar for the back end. We get a crit, but it, it didn't even matter. We have policy proc. Policy proc on my dude. Policy proc. We're going into a shadow sneak. And we'll take that out. Okay, cool. I'm with it. I'm with it. We don't have our disguise. I could pop a trick in here. Nah, we can't because then he just goes to Astro Brush. We, we have to take him out with the Shadow Sneak. The Shadow Sneak has to come out and about. And then we have to go into a uh, Phantasm. Yeah. Phantasm over Neo. And go for a double kill here. Bum, 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 bum. Good old Pokemon jams, yeah. Loving it. I wish, I wish they would play like the old jams because one of my favorite Pokemon jams is like Elite Four in uh in Gen 3 in like Emerald when you're going up against like the Dragon Trainer and like the, the trumpets are playing. Dun, 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 mm, 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 mm. Dude, dude, it's a jam. It's a jam. It's one of the best. It's one of the best. But Shadow Seek's gonna pop here. We're gonna pick up KO. We're not getting swept in this battle, but we might lose. But you guys know my, my, my I have two rules on the channel when playing Pokemon. We don't go 0 and 3, and we do not get swept in a battle. So that's, that's my plays all day. He goes to a Moonblast. That's fine. My boy's soaking up all day. And we're going to drop a Max Phantasm. And we're going to take out this Whimsy. So bye-bye, Whimsy. You're gone. Get him out of here. So cool. Whimscott goes down here. And we're going to see his final two Pokemon. Bye-bye, Whimscott. So nice little double kill there. We still have Garatina. But he still has speed. And he still has Dynamax. Which is just two big old problems for us. Two big old problems. And he brings out this thing. And this thing is a problem. The problem. The problem. Not gonna lie, it's a problem. And he's gonna have to Dynamax Incineroar. Okay. He's gonna have to Dynamax Incineroar. And do I go for a Wormwind into Incineroar? And just swap into my Incineroar on the Mimikyu slot? I'm kinda digging that. I am kinda digging that. Go here. Bang. And then just, uh, I could go for the Trick Room. Ooh, now would be the time to go for the Trick Room. Now would be the time to go for the Trick Room. Max Guard into Trick Room? What do we think he's gonna do here? I would think he would Behemoth Blade in my Garatina, right? You would think, right? But nah, 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 nah. We can't. I would think that. But if he Behemoth Blades in the Mimikyu, then we just lose. If we, if we go for Trick Room. So I'm just gonna swap Incineroar. We're gonna hope that he's going into Behemoth Blade into this Incineroar slot. And we're gonna drop stats. We're dropping stats. We'll play this one slow. I could have guarded it and then faked out. Which could have worked well, but let's see what he does. He's got a Dynamax Incineroar, right? Okay, so I think that Garatina outspeeds Incineroar. Which could be really, really good. And as long as my uh, my Garatina can eat up whatever this thing has to offer. It's just going to be close. It's just going to be close. I'm just hoping we can get off this one last worm win. This one last lovely little worm win. Because then we can have fake out and we kind of roll from there. So Incineroar goes for a last ditch effort with the Dynamax. Let's see what he goes for here. Is he going for Behemoth Blade? He is into my Garatina. Dude, we could have popped the trick room. Can we eat this? I'm hoping we can eat this. We just intimidated him. Come on, eat this up, Garatina. Let's go. Let's go. Big time eat up. Garatina gets to go. We get off uh, weakness policy proc max one one. Maybe can take him out. No, it doesn't. But still, minus one on both of them. We got to love it. Actually, minus two on the Incineroar. And minus one onto that uh, onto that Zassian. That's huge. That is huge. And he's just going to go for a flare. Is he doubling into my Garatina? No, he's going into that. So, okay. That's fine. That's totally fine. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay. I'm with it. He sets the heat. I can, I can fake out. I'm thinking of faking out. Yeah, we gotta fake out the, the Zassian and get off more damage onto the uh Get off more damage onto that uh than the Sinor. So I might as well drop a Jerko Meteor. And then just fake out the uh Fake out the Zassian, yo. Yo, your boy. Your boy is making some great plays today. Making some great plays. This one's this one this battle's looking a little promising for us now. Swapping into that Incineroar was money. That was a really good play by me. Really, really good play. We could have potentially popped the trick room because maybe my Mimikyu was able to eat up that flare, but that that's all speculations. Like Incineroar was 100% to play, ate up all day, and Garatina eating up that blade was wonderful. And the only reason he did eat up that blade was because Incineroar came in there and intimidated the Zassian. So we get off one more turn with Garatina, we're going to drop a Draco Meteor, and that's some big old damage. Enough to make that Shadow Sneak be able to take him out. We love it. Actually, never mind. I forgot. This thing's probably rocking a Citrus Berry, and that's exactly what he's doing. Is that a Citrus Berry? It is. So Citrus Berry helps him soak up. And he's going to go for Darkness. He's gonna go for darkness and he's gonna take out Garatina. So Garatina drops out here. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna drop a Flare Blitz into the uh, Zacian. And then uh, we could protect the memes. Actually, we don't have protect on the Mimikyu. We can go for a Trick Room if we wanted to. I'm kind of tempted to go for more so like a Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak could be good. I'm thinking of protecting the memes. I, I, again, I, can't, I don't have protect. I can't do that. 
Should we go for a shadow sneak and we try to chip off some damage before we go? They're gonna double down to you. We're taking out this Ashen. This battle's gonna be super close. Shadow sneak flying through it. Uh, send it. Yup. Shipping up just a little bit of damage. Better than nothing. And then Behemoth Blade's gonna fly. No, he's going for close combat. Should be able to eat that up. We do eat. But my oh my god, my Sinor is gonna go down here. To recoil damage. All day long, right? Oh, I forgot. We have the berry too. We have the berry too. Can my Incineroar be faster than his Incineroar? That'd be lovely. It is. It is. We'd love that. Now we can actually eat up this recoil damage. Should be able to take out Zassy, no problem here, right? Get him out of here and oh this dude, this battle's too close. This battle's too close. This battle's way too close. This last Dynamax turn here. And what's he gonna go into here? A flare. Mimikyu, you're dead, right? Oh wow, Mimikyu soaks that. I'll do the minus two. We love it. We love it. That's GG's. That is G to the G's. Shadow Sneak should or maybe might be able to take him out. Let's see. I mean, he has no double hitting moves. So we might as well just go into play rough and then just flare butts. Flare butts will do the most amount of damage here. Let's see. Cancel the battle, yo. Perfect record? Perfect record. Yes, sir. What a way to get the brand new season started with a perfect record, and we got to showcase this Garantina off to its fullest potential. I absolutely love using this team, something that you don't see very often, so it's very, very fun to use Pokemon like that. But like I said, more importantly, we grab ourselves a perfect record. Showcase it to its fullest potential. We got to show off the full power of weakness policy, Garantina. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.